Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. It's been a favorite and often quoted saying among fishermen that the good Lord doesn't deduct from a man's time on earth, the hours he spends fishing. And since there's seven times more water than land, Man should be allowed to fish seven times more than he works. And with that said, let's do what the good Lord said and go fishing, okay? Streamline it. Come on back here. <laughs> boy, I like to see them mojo it, boy. <laughs> they say, I don't want to get around that boat. Boy, they, yo, oh, boy, they put that power in that tail. You know, they've got about a 12 mile an hour burst of speed when they take off. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, man should fish seven times more than he works. You know, that's saying is probably older than dirt, but somebody believed it. Apparently, a whole bunch of somebodies. Because you know today, there's over 70 million folks doing it. The thought underlying this theory is that fishing so soothes the soul and relaxes the mind as to vastly increase one's chances for longevity. I sure hope that part about longevity is true because I, for one, hope to do this forever and then even a little bit more. Let me tell you what we're going to be doing today. The majority of the bass in this area are in a depth of about 8 to 10 feet. And at that depth, there's quite a bit of cover in the form of rocks. And we'll be fishing a spinnerbait here, just slow rolling it over these chunk rocks. Now, these chunk rocks are in a diameter of about 4 to 6 feet. It feels like they're not big boulders. What I'm doing, I'm just getting it out there. I'm just letting it free fall to the bottom, watching my line. And once it gets down, I just kind of give it a little pop. And then I'm just slow rolling it. And occasionally I'll just stop it, let it just fall back. And the reason I'm doing that is just trying to maintain bottom contact. I'm probably throwing it out in about 12 feet and kind of coming up a little slope. That little point that goes out falls off on this left side right here. It's about 8 to 10 on top. And it goes off about 12 to 14 on the left side. The particular spinner rate we've selected to use today is ideal for this situation. It's Bass Pro Shops half ounce laser eye with a hand sculpted head that has incredible detail. It also sports a quality silicone skirt and a hardened, chemically sharpened, premium, super sharp hook, plus nickel plated blades that produce tremendous flash. Strong fish right there, boy. You want to. But boy, let me just come around here. I'll have to lean off that high deck. See, ah. Big spinner bait. Right out of your little face. You liked all that flash, didn't you? There we go. Okay. Bye bye. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. 
and by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. You know, I said something a minute ago about the, look at, you know, I said something about the size of these, <laughs> this chunk of rock I was fishing. I said they were four to six, they were four to six feet in size. They're not four to six feet. <laughs> They're four to six inches. That's not four to six feet. They're four to six inches. You know, for years, spinnerbaits were generally regarded as shallow water lures, but today, more and more fishermen are discovering they're great for fishing deeper water. For use in the deeper depths, the willow blade models are most popular. They have less water resistance than rounder blades, therefore, they're easier to work down deep. They don't have the tendency to ride up on the retrieve like blades that have more resistance. Willow blades spin faster and emit more flash than the Colorado or Indiana blades. Hey, 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 There we go. Another one that liked a spinnerbait. You know, another tip when fishing a spinnerbait is to use a fine diameter line. We're using 14 pound test Strin Original Clear Blue, which is an outstanding fishing line. It's got great knot strength, abrasion resistance, and the sensitivity is super. And another feature I really like, it's fluorescent. I'm a big time line watcher, especially when I'm fishing high contact baits like worms, jigs, creature baits, and even free fall on a spinner bait. It's plenty thin and lets the lure get deep quickly, yet strong enough to plow through heavy cover and ideal for getting a good hook set due to the low stretch factor. Whoa, boy, it's a big fish. Oh, yeah, it's a big one, too. Oh. Oh, boy, look here. Whoa! Boy, there's a bulldog. There's a bulldog. Look at the size of that chunky big mama there. Dripping drag. Hit big old fish. Woo! And I mean, won't even stop. And I mean, he thumped it too. She did, whatever. Oh, look at that. Got to have that big laser out, didn't you? Stepping on my rod, you got me so excited. Fish, I don't know what I'm doing. Isn't that pretty? Woo! Man, man, man. Love you. Time to grow up. Bye bye. Bye bye. He hammered that bait. I was dropping it then. I lost feel of it and was letting it free fall back and he went, boom! Just fan casting. 
this long point. It comes in, makes a little V, goes right out there. I moved up there a while ago, caught several, and I dropped back down here. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, Outsmart, Outfish, Outlast, Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination, and Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Fish defunct, kill the stink, and Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Out of the trolling motor, buddy. That's a pretty one. Big old pretty fish. You wanted that spinner bait too, didn't you, buddy? Come up here, Timmy. I'll gum you. You're still full of yourself, aren't you? Now, I'm gonna get you. It is my... There it is. Woo! Look at that right there. Nice, I'm telling you, that is nice, 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 nice. Here we go. There you go, take off. We're getting right back under the boat. Let me show you on the graph what we're fishing. I'm fishing a 10-foot point. It goes out and drops to about 30 feet. And on the graph, here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's 10 feet. It goes out and breaks into about 30 feet of water. So I'm sitting back up on the 10-foot, casting out toward the 30-foot water, just slow rolling the spinnerbait. And these fish are running right along that ledge, right where it breaks from 10 to about 30 feet, or just out from it. So as the bait climbs up on it, some of them are suspended out over the, the break, and some of them are right up on top of it. But I'm just climbing up over it, just slow rolling it back. And I'm sitting probably in seven to eight feet of water, casting out, and just climbing that bait right back to me. Okay, whatever type of cover, or structure that you're fishing, there are three basic retrieves that are gonna help you. One is to position your boat deep, cast into the shallow water, and then retrieve downhill. Remember that when you're doing this, a very slow retrieve will allow the lure to swim in a downward arch. Another good retrieve is a parallel retrieve. This is where your boat is positioned over the edge and your casts are made parallel to it letting the bait sink to the proper depth, and then retrieving. And this is one of my favorites, the third option, and that is to position your boat shallow and cast out deep. This allows the spinnerbait to gradually climb uphill. Now this upward retrieve allows you to stay in contact with your lure at all times, and I like that. It'll also help keep your lure closer to the cover than the downhill retrieve, and it's especially productive when bass are holding tight. 
This particular presentation can cost you fish. However, if the cover's thick, in this position, you're pulling your catch into the shallow cover. Another one would like to spin her bait. Bill's question and answer of the week is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. You want to know a great way to get rid of dog odor? I think, whew, I think this pup does. Just what have you been rolling in, huh? If I had your nose, I, can, I couldn't live with myself. Of course, it's not your nose I'm worried about. It's mine. Oh, come on. Let me take a bite out of this horrible odor with dog defunct. Woo! Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning is provided by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter, sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Yeah, I like this little feature. It shows you, it goes from six all the way up to 65 pound test. You can just dial in the particular weight that you're using. I'm using 14 pound test, Strin Original Clear Blue. Like I said, it goes all the way up to 65 pound. Just dial it, dial the weight of line you're using. You always know what weight you're using. If you're looking for the latest fishing information and tips, be sure to check out the free Bill Dance mobile app, available for both iOS and Android users. Fish just coming right on top of the water. That fish looks like a submarine coming across the water. Okay, buddy. Easy. Come on. You bite me like that. Something else, a willow bladed lure will pick up less weeds than rounder type blades. When working a spinner bait through clean, submerged vegetation, the longer, slimmer willow leaf blade rotates closer to its axis and flops side to side, generally bouncing off the vegetation. Whereas round blades spin around the shaft rather than flop around and pick up a lot more weeds around the swivel that connects the blade to the wire. Most of the fish we're catching today are about 8 to 10 feet. The retrieve I'm using is nothing fancy at all. It's just a standard slow row retrieve. A steady horizontal pull and as you can see the method is highly productive for active bass. Now for non-aggressive fish a change of action is very important and what you do here is you stop your retrieve. This allows the lure to flutter 
a few inches or so. Then you start your retrieve and pause again after say five or six feet. By changing from one action to another, you create an erratic presentation and that can often trigger inactive fish into biting. Today the bass are fairly active, however, a slow steady retrieve is our most productive presentation. If there's one thing I've learned, there's simply no shortcuts to success, except to say that you've got to do whatever it takes to catch bass. You've always got to experiment. The same lure color, size, and presentation won't work every time. Good fishermen have learned from experience that they must be versatile in order to catch bass on a regular basis. Another bit. Man. Oh, some nice big old fish. You want to get in the shade, don't you, bigger? Big fatty. You sweet thing, you. You know I'm not gonna hurt you. Bye bye. Fishing spinnerbaits deep demands less physical effort than many other lures and forms of bass fishing. It does require some careful thought, however. Critical boat position, lots of confidence in what you're doing, a bunch of patience and techniques for methodical retrieves. Now, if you lack any of these, you'll have very little success. However, if you've made it to a point to slow your pace and flash the depths, you'd better stay ready because the big thump is often only a cast away. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.